Farm financial statements are common fare in a farm manager's files and are a key source of management information for your farm. Not only do they complement your enterprise costing information, but they also assist in financial planning and risk management decisions including solvency, profitability, and liquidity. Before financial analysis can occur, it is important to understand how these statements fit together. The basic building blocks of farm financial statements are formed by tallying farm enterprises collectively. This information combines accounting records with production, sales, and inventory records. The three cornerstone financial statements and the starting point for evaluating financial performance include the income statement, the balance sheet, and the cash flow statement. The income statement reflects net earnings, or profitability, from the use of farm equity, labor, and management by giving a summary of how the business incurs its revenues and expenses through its operating activities over a period of time. The balance sheet is a financial statement that summarizes a company's assets, liabilities, and owner's equity at a specific point in time. The three balance sheet segments give a farm manager a snapshot as to what the farm owns and owes at a specific point in time. As the name implies, both sides must balance. The cash flow statement tracks movement of cash into and out of the business over the year, highlighting surpluses, shortfalls, and upside and downside risks. This includes operating, financing, investing, and personal activities that occurred over the fiscal period. All three of these statements are closely linked. For example, cash receipts and expenses appear on both the income statement and cash flow, while accrual adjustments for changes in supplies, production on hand, payables, and receivables show up on both the income statement and balance sheet. A loss in asset value due to depreciation will be captured in the change from the start of the year to the end of the year on the balance sheet. This amount is also entered as a non-cash expense on the income statement. Additionally, good prices add to cash flow and equity through retained earnings. When good things or bad things happen to the business, they ripple through all of the financial elements. Understanding these three statements gives the manager the ability to conduct formal financial analysis to determine the use of all farm assets and inputs over one fiscal year. To do this, the farm manager must record farm receipts, expenditures, and changes in assets and debt, adjusting to reflect earnings and any change in financial position for the fiscal period. The level of detail in records required for financial analysis is driven by the manager's needs and the intended use for the reports. As the complexity of use goes up, the detail needed for record keeping increases incrementally. The main uses for financial reports are for measuring historical financial performance and for projecting future financial performance and risk. To do this, there are a number of financial ratios that can be calculated from the three key statements. They are designed to evaluate aspects of profit and risk and provide a financial scorecard of how past plans converted farm assets into profits. They can also be used to evaluate future farm plans regarding expected profitability, risk exposure, and business growth. In the end, managers who invest time in financial analyses can generate information that will lead to more informed decision making. For more information, hop online to view the information found in our Business and Economics tab.